Hey boys and ghouls, my name is Samuel, and welcome back to the Knights of War. Today we'll be discussing all things Midsummer Scream. Midsummer Scream is taking place at the Long Beach Convention Center from July 28th to the 30th, and for the first time ever, the Hall of Shadows will be open for all three days. The theme of the convention is Ghoulish Games, which celebrates all types of horror games. And in the Hall of Shadows, you can look forward to celebrating Dungeons and Demons, which pays homage to the OG monster game Dungeons and Dragons. According to co-founder and creative director of Midsummer Scream, Rick West, we've invited our haunters this year to let their imaginations run wild, and where possible to incorporate some kind of gamification or interactive element into their Hall of Shadow creations. Everyone is excited and hard at work to bring the fans the most epic Hall of Shadows yet. Like years prior, you can look forward to an amazing entrance to the Hall of Shadows thanks to all of the amazing people over at Cal Haunts. This year, the entrance will take visitors through ancient ruins filled with traps, treasures, and classic D&D monsters. Once inside the Hall of Shadows, visitors can look forward to more than a dozen spooky attractions, elaborate displays, and frightening photo ops created by some of the best haunters in Southern California and beyond. Popular cosplay photographer Raw of the Dead will be on hand throughout the weekend, taking complimentary pictures of guests as they fight to survive a zombie apocalypse. Straight to Hell Productions invites fans to seek out spirits within their Winchester Mystery House inspired walkthrough experience, which is sponsored by the world famous mansion in San Jose. The Pizza Planet Truck and Art Sideshow are joining forces to create a Disney-inspired display that's been taken over by Chucky, resulting in anything but a fairy tale ending for the delivery driver. The Drex Society will take guests on a tear trip through the fifth dimension with their Twilight Zone-inspired haunt. Dreary's very own Mr. Floats will taunt and haunt visitors playing games of chance in his Karn Evil Game Zone along with an assorted crew of nightmarish characters. The Ghostwood Manor home haunt will present Pharaoh's Paw with an Egyptian-themed walkthrough that will have visitors crying for their mummies. The haunt, with no name yet, returns with its elaborate Celtic Cemetery yard display that remains a decades-old home haunt fixture in Los Angeles each and every Halloween. Santa Ana haunt will initiate visitors into the terrifying cult world of Cormos and their blood-crazed rituals. The Haunted Harvest makes its Hall of Shadows debut as it introduces fans to the Netflix killer and an after-hours encounter inside a Haunt Buster video store. Tunnel of Terror will treat fans to a 360-degree photo op filled with terrifying monsters. Cobble Haunters will return on hand with an all-new attraction, daring fans to take a stroll through their old-school haunted house where evil dwells. Fear Farm, who holds the title of tallest Hall of Shadows facade ever at 24 and a half feet last year, returns with a brand new castle themed attraction, creeping with evil creatures and a built in tavern that'll be accessible to all guests 21 and older. And for the first time, Hall of Shadows plays host to an out of state haunt, Wicked Manor, who are bringing the terror from Colorado to the beaches of Long Beach for everyone to enjoy. Last, and not least, the Key Brigade returns for three slider shows on Saturday and Sunday. It promises to be a great time full of tricks beyond your wildest dreams. Beyond the spooks and treats of the Hall of Shadows, you should make time for the show floor with over 300 vendors and exhibitors. Announced this far, you can expect to see Immortal Mask, Trick or Treat Studios, Halloween Shirt Company, Backstitch Bruja, Sin City Props, and Froggy's Fog and many, many more. In addition, there will be celebrity signings throughout the weekend. Kimberly J. Brown and Daniel Coons from Halloween Town will be there. Roger R. Jackson, who is the voice of Ghostface. Tom Holland, not Spider-Man, but the writer-director of Child's Play and Fright Night. Kellen Goff, who plays the voice actor of Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's. Rachel True from The Craft. Maggie Robertson, Lady D from Resident Evil Village. 
Another highlight of the convention each and every year are the world-class panels. This year, you can expect panels from theme parks, podcasts, and a very special reunion. Announced thus far, on Saturday, Not Scary Farm will be presenting their 50th anniversary panel, which will feature Scary Farm historian and show writer Ted Bordy, attraction designer John Cook, and corporate director of creative development for Cedar Fair, Ken Parks. Vamp! from the Let's Get Spooky podcast will be featuring a live recording of her podcast and she will be having some of the stars of The Lost Boys. Return of the Living Drag, the frightening flock of fabulous performers led by horror con icon Peaches Christ returns to slay you with a deadly dose of horror drag. Queens and kings rise from the moldering tombs to perform the ultimate Halloween and horror spectacular. Be afraid because even after death, their looks are sickening. BIPOC Horror Creators is a panel that will feature Ivor Tris Littles, who is a creator and host of Horror Movies and Beyond, with Girls That Spooky uh, podcast co-hosts Jazz and Cat, Amber Martin, who's a cosplay and content creator, Matthew S. Robinson, who's a filmmaker and theater creative, Sapphire Sandalo, who's an animator and podcast, uh, with her featured show being Stories with Sapphire, and Matthew Torres, creator and host of the Storytime Guy podcast, will be diving into the success and challenges of being a BIPOC horror content creator, the need for more BIPOC leads, then the role tropes played throughout the genre, and achievement through these specific limitations. Internet Urban Legends featuring Trevor Henderson, uh, who is the creator of Siren Head, will track you all through the crooked path winding between legends born from creepy pasta tales to the beings and anomalies that fill the vast arcades of the SCP Foundation. One of the last announced panels for Saturday is the 13th Floor Entertainment Group, which puts on great events like Shacktoberfest and Los Angeles Haunted Hayride. This year, they're going to be returning for another jam-packed panel. Pro tip, if you go to this panel, you might get yourself a free ticket or two. So show up early and show up prepared to learn about all of the great things that the 13th Floor Entertainment Group is doing. On Sunday, you can expect to see Universal Studios Hollywood's Halloween Horror Nights panel, which will feature creative director and executive producer John Murdy. During this panel, you'll get a sneak peek behind the curtain to all of the creatures and scares awaiting you for this upcoming season. Voices of Horror Video Games will feature the people behind some of the terrifying creatures that inhabit your favorite video games, like Five Nights at Freddy's, Resident Evil, and Call of Duty Zombies. In addition to these amazing panels on Sunday, you can expect a panel from Winchester Mystery House and Six Flags Fright Fest. Last, but certainly not least, you can expect more beloved components of Midsummer Scream, including Paranormal Pixies Pumpkin Patch Children's Zone, the Black Cat Lounge Kitten Adoption Center, which we will be going to this year. I'm going on record, so hold me accountable, and the Screaming Room Film Festival presented by Horbuzz. All in all, you're not going to want to miss this convention. You can buy your tickets as well as get more information about the event by visiting midsummerscream.org or by following Midsummer Scream on Instagram. If you like this video, go ahead and drop a like down below, as well as leave a comment for what you're most excited for coming to Midsummer Scream. If you want to stay up to date with all things horror, as well as all things SoCal haunts, you can follow us at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and TikTok, as well as Knights of Horror on Twitter. Thank y'all, and we'll see you all at Long Beach Convention Center, July 28th to the 30th for Midsummer Scream. Peace.